Hmm. See who talked to Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? Um, I'm Flandry. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name. Donnie. D-O-N-N-Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. How long you been here, Don? It's Donnie! D-O-N-N-Y. I don't know for sure. What year is it? You see, 2054-2054, you don't know the year? Or you can say, it's 2070! World ain't what it used to be, son! <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him the truth. It, it is, in fact, 2054. They only let us watch pre-approved tr tridio discs. Some of the patients can have violent reactions to seeing the outside world again. I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. I don't think you really want that. Oh, Danny's face blanches. I don't think you really want that. Not really. You say, what's that supposed to mean? Or, sounds creepy, son. <laughs> Why am I being all, like, avuncular with this guy calling him son? What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attack the attention of the you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. That's weird. That's odd. I mean ominous. I'm doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. I should go. Let's see, who is this? Lorraine. Hey guys, have you seen Josie? I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Doc Dr. Philippe told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't suss more than match four. Wait, Josie is a man? What's so important about this Josie character? Or, okay, what's so important about this Josie character? He's a great guy! I mean, everybody likes him. Sure, he looks like a meathead, but once you get to know him, he's a real thinker. He's got a Super Brawl gold ring he always wears when he played for the Screamers. He's the only guy on the floor who knows how to play chess. Urban Brawl, huh? That's a rough perfection. So Josie couldn't take the pressure and ended up here? What a slot. That's horrible. <laughs> I could see an ex-brawler becoming a celebrity around here. Sure. Okay. Urban Brawl, huh? It's a rough profession. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole sessions without any injuries. He's usually playing Outrider, though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard. They keep a close eye on us. You could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a recorder, record or something. He might just be in a cool-off room and they won't tell me. I'll see what I can find. No promises. Okay. You're right here if you do. Alright, I've got the infirmary key. Picking up quests for crazy people now. Well, well if I can use crazy. this key... If I can use this key to, uh, access... You know, get a look around. The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. Well, that's not ideal. Let's see here. Oh, there's an arm on the floor! Nice. Jackpot! A severed arm lies next to the zipped body bag. The arm looks human, and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Take the ring. Uh-oh. You slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and feel its weight in your hand. Inside is an, inside is an engraving. It reads, Screamers 2048. Well. I, think we may, I think we know what happened to Josie. You find an un, unlabeled trivid disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. Got the equivalent of like a Super Bowl ring, I guess. The surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools. Motorized saws and metal vices. Some sort of console. The, the, the patient information for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Name, Josiah C. Dawson. Date of birth, 7-18-2015. Oh, less than a year away. Yeah. Height, 1.9 meters. Weight, 95 kilo kilograms. Occupation, retired. Allergies, none. Medications, alprazolam, 
Rebexatine. Reason for stay. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Status. Deceased. Read the attached notes. Patient had, patient had undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects, as well as fulfill some custom requests. Lovely. In case, in case we needed any confirmation that there's evil shit going on here, I think we have it. I think you should go play that tape right in front of that dude. And traumatize him for life? Yes. Oh, there's there's a console we can do stuff with. I don't I don't see any televisions around here. Damn. Can't do anything. Okay, I can't do anything with the console now. Is that not a television over there? Where? In the far right. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, in the cage. I don't know how I'd put a disc into it though. Damn. We should probably talk to. Maybe we should. I don't know. We should talk to uh, Lorraine here. So, did you see anything? Your choices are: Yeah, Josie's not looking too good. Josie's dead. Or I'm not sure how to put this. Um, Josie is now in several other people, basically. <laughs> what? Tell me, did he get released? I don't know what happened, but it looks like he's dead. <laughs> because he's a corpsicle, okay? <laughs> There's so many chances just to be a complete asshole in this game. <laughs> well, it looks like Josie's gonna be playing that Super Brawl in the Sky from now on. <laughs> give, or give Lorraine the ring. Maybe you should have this. You mean he... Oh, God. Well, thanks for your help. The noise of a scratchy PA system blasts through the room. Attention, Flandry. Please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. I don't trust that hair. Maybe you should give that dude the disc, if you can talk to him. Oh, yeah! That's an idea. Wait, I don't I'm not sure if I can now. Damn. I don't think that's what it would what it is, though. I mean, I don't... Let's see. I doubt it'd be anything relevant to him. Yeah. For all I know, it's like surgical footage. That we'll be with you in a moment. It. What's that? That would induce the P the uh, stress, I assume. Let's see. Oh, we got to talk to him like through like a PA or something. Ho ho! Remember this guy, Nick? Yeah. This is the he was guy. at the scene. Of, he was at the scene of one of the murders. Yeah. He was like that. He's even in that bow tie. The elf standing before you may be quite po may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, his eyes lock with you. He locks eyes with you, a smiling, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help? You can say, Dr. Holmes, a.k.a. Silas Forsberg. How's about we chat, or... Dr. Holmes, I presume. You're a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that. I'm sorry, who's dead? He acts genuinely confused, but he can't seem to drop a smile from his lips. Okay. Alright, if that's... Should we should we go along with his little ruse that he's not Forsberg, or... What, what, how should we do this? Flandry is pretty flippant. He is kind of a... Yeah. Alrighty. Cut the act, Doc. I know you killed the real Holmes, and I know you're running around town carving up people for parts. 
My word! Such a violent paranoia! It's a pity. What should I expect? This is a place for broken things, after all. And you are so very broken. Gods! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And nobody is alarmed in the least by your heavily armed companions. Well, Seattle of 2054 kind of seems to be that way, to be fair. <laughs> I'm going to set this dude on fire. <laughs> Hospital guard. Oh, critical! He's dead! Nice. The door is locked. Oh, there's something I can pick up here. Ah, guard's key. Okay, we can go through there now, but first... First. Oh, oh, the ba oh, the, the combat sequence is over. Oh, I guess. Or no, no, it's not. It's just the the battle music is over. Ah, oh, I can I can access this computer. So maybe better this. Okay, next turn I'm going to have this guy hack in. I wonder if I can talk to the receptionist. I have some... I, I have complaints about my stay here, sir. Might as well add some armor. Oh, I can still talk to him. It seems that the good Dr. Holmes has something special planned for you. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. I don't know why I see him as this, like, he's like this a feet, like, Euro trash guy. I don't know. Why would you do this? You know you won't be getting paid after I kill your boss, right? Good luck in the basement. Holmes and Patezel are waiting. Oh, I was hoping I could just shoot him. Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. I hope you can on the way out. That would be hysterical. Yeah. Alright. Now, alright, this guy's hacking in. Oh dear. Okay, now he's working on that. All right. Currently unnamed robot companion. He's got an aim ability. Oh, single shot 12. Is that more than the other one had? I think so. Sounds like it. This door. Uh oh, hospital guard. Hmm. Those aren't really words I ever expected to say. <laughs> All right. Door still. Let's see here. 
wonder if I have a growth range to actually hit this guy. Nah. Or do I? Okay. Doesn't appear. Nope. Alright, so give some more armor to uh, Shannon. Okay. 